Hi, I'm going to try and show you a simple experiment that uh, hopefully will give people a whole lot of ideas. So, you have to imagine the camera is the sun. Now, as the camera gets close to the first reflector, just watch the reflection. So, if, if it was the sun, instead of the light coming from the ball to the camera, the light would be going from the the sun to the ball so this is just seeing things in reverse so as you can see the reflection is now getting bigger from the ball so if if instead of the camera taking a picture of the ball it was the sun the sun would be reflecting that amount of light to the ball move closer so I'm not sure what the angles are I'm not going to measure them we're getting closer and the amount we're getting closer to vertically overhead and the amount of reflection gets bigger and bigger and bigger and now we're just about vertically we're not quite vertically yet and the um, light is uh, uh, basically fully over it because this isn't a, a perfect reflector um, you know there's little bumps and because it's just um, a reflective film stuck to clay so we go a little bit further now and now we're right over it and everything is uh, reflecting onto the ball so now that's one see how quickly it changes so now we're going to another one and this has the orange and this is the only reason I'm doing it with this one is just to show you um, just a nicer reflection basically Anyway, I don't know what curve is on this one, but you see the reflection building up, building up as you get closer and closer to vertically over it. And now the entire orange, except for the flat piece, uh, the entire orange basically is um, being reflected. So that means overhead, well, almost the entire orange overhead um, you're getting um, a very substantial amount of light would be reflected to the orange if it was the other way around now what else did I want to show you and see how the reflection there's none on the left and right lots of reflection in the middle and this is an important thing to remember so now we're directly over again and you can't see it on the camera but there's actually reflection from the entire dish apart from the bottom um, what else do I want to show you one more thing to show I'm going to try and keep this as brief as I possibly can this is I can't remember if it's a 45 I think it's a 60 degree dish so with the 60 degree dish the reflection goes right down to the bottom and this means it's pretty easy to place your um, your uh, collector or dish or sorry not dish your your pot uh, effectively you know exactly where the pot should go it has to be at the bottom of the dish now just watch see how quickly it goes from lots of light the camera should be a bit further away lots of light reflected to zero light reflected that quick so in that amount of space things change completely so that's not even one ball length from zero to that amount so this just is to show you how placement is so important and it's the same goes for a parabolic dish or whatever if the ball isn't in the right place bingo bango you've got no uh, reflection at all so here one more thing to show you can't see it so good on this one but as you come closer the reflection is basically in line with uh, the where the camera is going across right, I'll go back here we're getting reflection along the line that is traveling and not so much at the sides until you get right over it and this is another important thing and it explains something about um, butterfly and what's the other one two types of solar co cookers which I didn't really understand the reasons for um, their design before um, but basically the reason when you think about it is quite simple 
they want the most um, reflected light from their their dish so this sides left and right depending on where the sun is they're not going to give you that much uh, reflected light so they've just um, put little wings on their cooker so they've ignored the left and right sections and um, uh, I think it's a pretty clever idea but I never understood it before I did this little model. Thank you. So, just one more thing to show you. I, I forgot this in the first little movie. So here we are again, we've got the dish and if you aim the light on any of the places where the reflection comes from it bounces, well you can't really see this. Anyway I've got a laser level and I'm shining of anywhere where there's the orangey color from the ball you shine it and it bounces onto the ball so here you can see it's mostly seems to bounce to the bottom of the ball and now when I shine it to the laser to the sides it bounces at the side and then it bounces um, front or back of the ball I guess front of the ball and bounces around to the other side and basically the light sweeps around the ball oh sorry I haven't even so the light sweeps uh, this isn't showing very good so uh, how am I going to demonstrate this um, okay what happens is at that point when the light hits the on this side it bounces down and it hits here again and maybe even bounces off here and away so this demonstration not really this is not hitting the ball I'm not sure where it's going and this sweeps around the front of the ball and away so it goes quite close to the bottom but it sweeps around and misses the ball completely so as I said, in, in uh, there's Chinese and uh, German ca butterfly cookers where they've just ignored the two sides and your solar cooker is a, um, it sweeps in the direction. It uh, Basically it looks like it has two wings. And I can now see and perhaps you can see the reason for them. Anyway, this video is long enough.